How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Mew here and welcome back to the channel. This video is another mail day, definitely my favorite kinds of videos to do. So I do have a bunch of letters and I also have a bunch of parcels. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's open this big one up right here and see. So most of these cards that are actually in here, I fought like ages ago. I think the one I bought latest or earliest, I suppose, I bought at the beginning of September, so that's like ages ago. Um, if it wasn't for the prices that I have up on my screen right now, I actually had forgotten most of the cards in here. Um, just like this one, for example, a Raichu EX. So most of the cards in this mail day right here are gonna be old school EX cards with the just slight amount of prime cards and then also um, this package which actually has 18 times the same card. Uh, more on that later. Um, starting it off though with this Raichu EX, um, price tag is right down here so I didn't even have to look it up. 69 euros are paid for this one. So this is a PSA 7. Which, to me personally, doesn't really matter because this is getting cracked. I did say in my binder video that I want to buy a more old-school EX cars and I do kind of want to complete that, that collection. And this is a very, very nice step forward with the right shoe EX. Very nice. I can't remember if I, if I used to own this card in German back in the day. Um, but this is very, very nice. Let's put this over right here. And I guess we'll rip open another one. So these might actually be the um, the prime cards, I think. Yeah, these are the prime cards. Okay, prime Feraligator. Very nice. Also from 2010. 14 years old at this point. Kind of crazy. So for this Feraligator, I did pay 15 euros. And I think, yeah, this is... This is one of the cards that I wouldn't describe as near mint. Maybe I'm a bit, a bit too picky. Let's see. Up next is the Ampharos. <laughs> Very nice. The Ampharos was even cheaper than the Feraligator. So for this Ampharos right here, I paid 10 euros. Kind of surprised that these Prime cards are still pretty cheap. Maybe people really don't like them as much. But I think, yeah, see, this is another one. I think two of them were, were like this. I actually really like these Prime cards. I think they're pretty neat, especially the silver border, which is just, you know, the old school EX border in a way, kind of similar. So there we are, the Slow King. So for this Slow King, I paid 15 euros, just like with the Feraligator. Here is that Slow King. And yeah, see this one, this one looks really, really clean. This one looks super clean. Very nice. Man, I really like these Prime cards. I only have the the Mew Prime in my binder. I mean, you've seen, you've seen the binder. I don't even have to tell you. So I only have the Mew Prime, but now I have four more. This one is a really, really cool one. The Tyranitar Prime. Look at this one. This one was also one of the more expensive ones um, from this order or just from the Prime cards in general that I bought. This one was 40 euros. But yeah, look at how clean that looks. Look at it. Very, very nice. Not that this is getting sent into grading. No, this is this is getting straight into my binder. But it's still kind of surprising that a card that's like 14 years old can still look this pristine. Very nice. Let's just rip open the next letter, I guess, or maybe just cut it open. Be careful to not cut into the playmat because that would be very bad. Here we go. Very nice. Ah, this is the Absol. Okay. The Absol EX. So this is by... I've actually forgotten the... What is this grading company? Is it AP Grading? No, Universal Grading Service. Right, okay. And there also appear to be some stickers added. Okay, well that's very nice. So here is the Absol. Once again, I don't care about the grade. This is going... This is getting cracked and then added straight to my binder. Kind of funny, the, the grades in this one seem to be centering as a 10, edges as a 9, and then surface and corners, but, you know, for, this is what I like about not just these cards in general, like PSA 7s as well. I feel like PSA 7s are like the perfect spot to crack them out of the case and give them a new home in a binder. I think that's like the perfect spot. I think the Mew EX that I bought a little while ago, the really expensive one, I think that also was a PSA 7, and that's why I decided to crack it out of the case. 
So here we are with the Absol. Very, very nice. Like this Absol. I mean, it is a Gen 3 Pokemon and the card is literally from Generation 3. 2007. Man, that is so old. Really nice though. Okay, let's open. I think we'll open up this one and see what we can find in here. Man, I'm actually really excited. This is what I tell you. This is why these are my, my favorite videos to do. All right, hang on. I completely forgot to tell you the price of the Absol. So for this Absol right here, I paid 65 euros, which is, I think, a really good price, honestly. Right, so this is actually one of the few cards that I actually ended up buying on eBay. So here is the Altaria EX. This one from EX Emerald, even older than the Absol. This is from 2005. Man, this card is going to be 20 years old next year. That's so crazy. Look at that hollow foil pattern, though. It's really hard to show with the case, with the PSA case, because my key lights are glaring. But man, this looks really, really cool. I do feel kind of bad cracking them out of the case, but then again, it is just a PSA 7, so I think it's all right, which is why I'm trying to go for these PSA 7s if I can for these ones, because from what I've noticed, um, a lot of people do rate cards from this era in particular um, higher than they should be in terms of condition. I've seen cards that were declared as near mint be maybe light plate or moderately plate at best, so I feel like with the PSA 7s, for the most part, they're actually equally as expensive as the raw cards, in some cases even cheaper. So I feel like this is a perfect compromise. And then for the most part, you have a grade that you can actually rely on. You know, I say in some cases, PSA has been known to mess up here and there. But yeah, this one looks really cool. So for this Altaria, this was actually one of the more expensive ones in this order. So I did end up paying $121, which came out to be 113 euros all in all. In all. Still very, very nice. And open up the last letter before we contend with the parcels over here. This one is protected really, really well, so this must be also one of the more expensive ones. Let's see. Kind of excited. I wish I didn't have to look at the prices. Oh, Metagross. Okay, so this is a PSA 8. Just when I was going on about that PSA 7s are the perfect grade to crack them, I did end up having a PSA 8 in this order. Not gonna lie, I've forgotten most of what I bought. I've said that multiple times in this video, probably. So this Metagross right here... I don't think it was that expensive. Yeah, this one I paid um, 75 euros for. For a PSA 8? That is really good. This is this is even older than the Altaria. This is all the way from back in Hidden Legends. 2004. This is 20 years old. And it is a PSA 8. I mean, of course it's not perfect, but honestly... This is way better than a binder copy has to be. It is a Gen 3 Pokemon, it is a Gen 3 card, and it's got this is this is all I am about. Man, I used to love these cards back in the day. Still do, which is why I'm buying them now. Let me actually take this out of the out of the sleeve. So we can appreciate the sheen just a little tiny bit more. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. Man, I'm gonna have so much fun just looking at these cards. You know, getting lost in the hollow foil pattern and just reminiscing about the good old times. Yes, I'm old. All right, let's tackle the parcels. Once again, I'm gonna save this one for last. Let's open this one up next. Maybe I shouldn't be handling a knife when I'm like on my very special um, play mat. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, well, and another envelope in here. Well, I guess it's shipped really securely. Oh, this is one of the Japanese ones. I know exactly which one this is. This is the Espeon. This is the Espeon EX. Look at this. Man, also PSA 8. I know this one was on the more expensive side in this order as well. Yeah, this one was so far the most expensive card on this in this whole order. This one was 200 euros. I really want this one. In a perfect world, I would have liked to get a first edition version of this card, but I just wasn't able to find one. And the ones I did find were really, really overpriced in my opinion. So I I had to make do with an unlimited version. I only really wanted the first edition version because I do have the Umbreon EX, the counterpart to this card in a first edition. But, you know, that's just that. That's just additions. The artwork of the card is still very much the same, of course. It's literally just a really small stamp down here. Probably wouldn't even notice. You hardly notice it on the Umbreon anyways. So I guess this is fine. Another PSA 8 that I unfortunately do have to crack out of the case. 
for the sake of filling my binder though. Yeah, this is another one. Look at the hollow foil pattern. Unfortunately though, like all of these cards that I've just shown apart from the Raichu, I actually didn't own back in the day and I'm not even sure if I did own the Raichu. So these are actually new. I, I am seeing these for the first time, believe it or not. This one is from 2005, 19 years old. Damn. Damn, look at that. It's still looking so great. We even have a swirl here. Are you seeing that? Very nice. And like a Pokeball thing. I could look at this holofoil pattern for hours and still wouldn't get tired of it. It's just so much nostalgia for me. All right, second to last parcel right here. So let's just cut open this one real quick. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect in here. I keep saying that I feel like, but it is the truth. I only know what to expect in the very last parcel because, well, not only was that the last one that arrived, I also know exactly what is in there. The 18 times the same card. Ooh, okay. That's kind of backwards. Now I know what this is. If I see the, the AP grading, I know exactly this is the Dragonite EX. Yeah, look at that one. Also a, a 7. I have no idea how good AP grading is. I haven't used them before. They are located in Germany, just like um, gold standard grading, which I do know a lot of German collectors do do regard very highly. I don't know about AP grading, though. The, the, the labels look really cool, though, in my opinion. But once again, getting cracked out of the case anyways. But I do love this card. Man, I keep saying this. This is also, this is from 2003. So this is actually, so this is actually the oldest card in this whole mail day. 21 years, all the way back from 2003. EX Dragon, that was one of the very first sets during the EX era. The OG EX era. And this one cost me, believe it or not, 60 euros, which I do think is pretty cheap. I could have sworn for like the longest time this one was sitting at, at much higher prices. If I'm looking at the prices right now, what freaking happened? There's a raw version of this card on sale for 64 euros and then the next one literally is 160 euros. Like what happened? I, I got a really good deal on this one then, eh? I got a really good deal, very nice. Alright, it's time to open this parcel up. And I'm personally really excited about this one because this parcel alone will help me fill one binder page in my binder. I don't know if you remember, it was towards the end of my binder video. I did say I had like an empty page before my trainers and I was going to say there's going to be like the same cart 18 times. Well, this is it. This is the exact same cart. Oh, you can already see them peeking out. God damn, look at this. Look at this, 18 copies of the Friends in Alola. Okay, well this looks kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? I can't even spread them all out right here. Look at how many there are. 18 copies of this card. This is, this is just how much I like this card. That is just how much I like this card. Let me actually try to spread them out. That looks even more ridiculous than I would have imagined. Look at this, 18 copies of the Friends in Alola card. And I actually got these for a really good price. So first of all, let me talk about price for this one. So for each one of these, with shipping included into the price, I ended up paying 18 euros for each of these cards. So 18 times 18, you do the math. I'm not doing it not because I'm lazy. But there you are, 18 euros for one of these cards. I think most of these are just barely, might barely be able to scrape by a PSA 10. Most of these are probably going to be a PSA 9. But once again, these are binder copies, so it doesn't really matter. Still though, to be fair, all of these came really, really secure. Every single one in a top loader, and then every single top loader in one of these team bags, I think they're called. So incredibly, incredibly good shipping from the from the card shop in China that I bought these from. So I did actually ended up buying these on Taobao. I was lucky enough to find a seller that actually had, I think at the time, 38 copies of this card in their inventory. So I just ended up buying 18 of these cards. Really, really nice. Shipping took a little while, but you know, that's, that's not here nor there. Look at this. 
18 copies of the friends in Alola. I'm gonna have a lot of fun sleeving all of these up and then putting them in my binder one by one. I'll be sure to post a photo of the binder page once I actually have them in the binder on my Twitter and on my community post, so stay tuned for that. And I guess that does it for this mail day. A lot of lot of cool cards in this mail day. I think these ones are definitely my highlight, just because I like the card that much. I know I've said it in so many of my other videos, but Chinese cards are printed in Japan, so they do have the exact same texture and the exact same quality as Japanese cards. With the addition of this stamp down right here, and then for simplified Chinese cards in particular, you can see the Pokemon stamp down in the corner right here, and you can also see the shifting logo. If I hold it in a specific angle, it says Pokemon. If I hold it in another specific angle, it should show a Pokeball. There you go. I hope you can kind of make that out in the video. It's way easier to see in person, but man, and the sparkle. Not to mention the sparkle of these cards, because they are there printed in Japan and have their texture. Yo, I'm almost dazzled by this card. That's how sparkly it is. Let's put this one down before anything happens. Well, but I guess it does it for this mail. They're really happy how this turned out. But if you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, and click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.